unforeseen disasters and whatnot. But if you've got a tremendous amount of debt and you're spending more money than you're bringing in, to sock money away into a savings account doesn't make sense when you've got all this other debt. And you see what I'm saying? Is that maybe that we may want to consider not having $600,000, because all that would really be doing is saying that, you know, uh, one point, whatever it is, 1.8, 1.9 million dollars, I'm sorry, one, uh, 101, no, one, the uh, I don't know, 16%? Was that? The 16%? No, 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 no. What, what I was trying to get at is, we're putting away $600,000 right now. We're expecting to spend 400 and change. So the excess over that is really just paying for the 2012 portion, whatever that may be, instead of saying we should put away, I mean, this year, since we have a deficit, we should, might want to consider just putting away what we're expecting to spend in 2011 for the rolling stock. And then, I mean, establishing, of course, the fund, the ER and r fund. And if we ever find ourselves right, very close and maybe even having not a deficit but a tiny bit of surplus, then to start stacking more money away and ease into it that way, rather than just instituting a policy which would have made a lot of sense in 2007 and 8. So you're what you want to say? Let me make sure I understand what you're, what you're doing, if, if I may. You bet. Um, you're suggesting to put away what, we, what we've identified as current needs for this, for this coming year and use the overage between that and the 600K somewhere else. Well, keep it in uh, reserves is what I'm suggesting, is that we don't put extra money away. Because I, I really do agree with the idea, but we're running a deficit, so on some level, it's mainly, like you said, um, sort of a psychological maneuver to say we're just going to allow ourselves to spend this money at some point. And maybe that's just going to be the council's desire to spend this money or just uh, sock the money away and seed the fund, which... In, interestingly enough, if you, um, if we, I think I know the numbers close enough, um, if we did only move to ERNR or we didn't do the ENR and R and we just purchased the 400,000 plus in equipment, your uh, deficit for the year basically wipes itself out. The deficit is, is pretty darn close to the difference. Between the 400 and some odd and the 600,000. The deficit would remain the same. Yeah. It's just which pot the money sits in. The operating deficit. Yep. And just it's for future reference, too, what staff will be proposing is probably in the first quarter next year, by the time we get through it, when we can do a detailed analysis of all the depreciation schedules, you have some rolling stock that is still within its useful life, but it's not brand new. And in a fully functioning uh, fund like this, there would have been payments being made annually since its purchase from operating funds into this fund. And so what we will, what we will have for you to consider uh, probably as a supplemental to the 11 budget later in the year will be what is that amount of money what is the actual amount that needs to be in there as if this fund had been in existence for years so that now all we have to do is the smaller incremental operational expenditure every year to be coming into the fund. And so by having this hundred and whatever uh, overage, if you would, um, it just has us doing it now, uh, anticipating that, the, that we have to do it. We could just set it up to be the dollar for dollar and then um, send whatever we need to send over as part of a supplemental if it is the council's desire to have this fund. Or we can do what's on there and it'll be a little bit less that we can send, send over later in the year. Dave? The risk, the risk to this approach is twofold that I can see. One is that our estimates are wrong, and the other is that unexpected circumstances uh, you know, we wreck a vehicle or something else, the insurance doesn't pay for it, whatever, and we wind up needing more expenditure than that account. So if we don't spend it at, at the end of the year or during the year, if we want to move it somewhere else, we can. Uh, but I, I sure like the idea of funding this. I don't like funding it out of reserves. I, I'm with you. 2007, we're going to start. By 2005, when everything else. At some point. 
like Dave said, at some point you've got to establish the schedule and be on the schedule so that you can yeah. afford it. And you, you, I think you could kind of say for the sake of discussion that you have been funding it indirectly yeah. by by having your operating expenditures be less than your current year revenues, even though you didn't attempt, say specifically in your budgets, this is set aside for these purposes. I think that was part of the notion that it was for these types of expenditures. It just wasn't accounted in that precise way. So I think you could say that you have been socking the money away, if you would. In just have, yes, just in reserves and have an account. I've been hearing that from budget managers for four years. <laughs> it's not a blue word of it. John? <laughs> it's a good justification. <laughs> how, do we, how do we eliminate that deficit of 184? I know we'd have to go into the general fund and start whacking away at numbers to get rid of that deficit. Um, yeah. it, it seems like, you know, to have a true balanced budget, we should be using actual existing money that's coming in, not borrowing from past years and keeping that money in reserve. I know it would hurt on a lot of different levels, but that's an area that I'm looking at for this budget. How do we get that to a true balanced budget and erase that deficit? Yeah, certainly no, uh, no mincing of, of words. What I'm proposing to you is not a balanced budget. To me, if it takes 185000 out of savings in order to get us there, it's not balanced. Um, Dave's been working with the department heads and additional staff to try and identify what, what plan Bs would be and that type of stuff. Um, if we need to get to that point, and that's certainly one of the questions that we wanted to, to make sure and try and get a feel from the council this evening. In order to get that number down, we're into bodies. No ifs, ands, or buts around it, we're into bodies. Excuse me, we're into more bodies. We're already into bodies. Paul? The other thing I would say is that, and I mean, I, I get to be at least listening to the discussion beginning about 2006. And it was very clear that in 06, 07, and 08, what the finance director and the planning director and everyone else was saying was, these are boom times and there will be not boom times. So what we are doing is building reserves, call it a rainy day fund, if you will, to cover exactly those shortfalls when times are, are tough. Not tough, but actually recession. And so <coughs> this city and battleground especially did not spend. We were very tight-fisted in 06, 07, and 08. And that's why we have those reserves. Is, is, that was the intention, was that we would use our reserves to level out the ups and downs in the, in the revenue stream. And if, if, what you, if what you do is you say, well, you can, you can never have a deficit budget, then there's absolutely no incentive to build reserves. The, the reason that you build reserves is so that you can spend them when your revenue takes a huge hit. 